is a Greek god. You're not supposed to wear Nike if you're an Israelite. That's what it says, thou shall have no other gods before me. That's what that means. You can't say you serve the Most High and have an unk around your neck that's serving another god. And we've seen that a brother was teaching. You see that? Teaching the word of Most High with the unk around his neck. We ain't gonna say the camp name. We ain't gonna say the camp name. But we see it. Well, I seen it, but I'll let you know, let you know uh, who careful was. Can I read? Thou, and there thou shalt, and there thou shalt serve other gods. And there thou shalt serve other gods, read. Which neither thou nor thy fathers have known. Meaning, neither shall thy fathers have known. Because our forefathers, they didn't know them other gods, like Nike. Our forefathers, they wasn't rocking Nike back then. They was rocking something else. They was worshiping the calf. That's what they was worshiping. That's what our people was doing back then. Worshiping the calf. But now, we go all out. So we serve all the gods now. We serve Nike. We serve the hum. That's what we're serving now. Right? Even wood and stone. Even what? Even wood and stone. Even wood and stone. On Allah. Wood and stone. Allah. That's what we're serving today. We didn't do that back then. It goes back to spiritual order. Okay, read. And among these you nations. Have you have a question, sir? I can do that. What if we're all interracial? We're all interracial? That's untrue. Where you get that? Okay. So you're not just cool. What's up, father? Black. Black American? What? Black? Black American? I think this is. I don't know. I don't think that it is trivial. Well, we're all one in the beginning. They are. Yeah, okay. but because of it, it's separated from so different races. That is what we're starting to feel now. I think we all are one race. Is that true? Yeah, yeah. Then we really... No, but they have different races. Number, number 118. Read out the book! This is how you determine the nationality. Watch this. Read out the book of Numbers, chapter 1, verse 18. And they assemble all the congregation together on the first day of the second month. Read on. And they declare their pedigrees after their families. By the house of their fathers. By the house of the who? By the house of their fathers. By the house of their fathers. So the father determined that now. That's why I said, well, that's why I asked, what was her father, not her mother? The father determined the nationality. Same here. Can I read? According to the numbers of the names. According to the numbers of the names, read. From 20 years old and from, upward. From 20 years old and upward, right? By the pole. By the pole, right? As the yeah. Lord commanded Moses, so he numbered them in the wilderness of Sinai. Read on. And the children of Reuben, Israel's eldest son, by their generation after him. Go back to our, uh, yeah. I was finishing Deuteronomy 28. Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 65. And among these, Nations shall thy find no ease. Read. Neither the, shall the sole of thy foot have rest. But the Lord shall give thee there a trembling heart and failing of eyes and sorrow of mind. Read on. And thy life shall hang in doubt before thee. And thou shalt fear day and night and shall have none assurance of thy life. Right, so therefore, you have to understand something. We're under the curses right now. But we have to repent and, and return ourselves back to the Most High. And then we get the kingdom, the other nations, they go up, up under us. These nations are not going to be above us anymore. Man, but let's get down. Let's get down. You know one of Daniel? Forever and ever? Give it yeah. last week. Yeah. Okay, I let's get down. You know what I'm about, Daniel? Uh, 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 I got uh, Proverbs 24. No, me, Daniel. Up. Huh? Daniel. Give me Daniel. Then. Yeah. Yeah. Reading out the book of Daniel, chapter 7, verse 8, 
Verse 18. But the saints of the but Most the High. But the saints of the what? But the saints of the Most High. But the saints of the Most High, read. Shall take the kingdom. Shall what? Shall take the kingdom. Shall take the kingdom, read. And possess the kingdom. And what? And possess the kingdom. And possess the kingdom. The, king, the kingdom is for us, for us to uh, possess, read. Forever. Forever. Even forever. And for even forever. And ever. And ever. Amen. That's it. Now go to um go to uh, Isaiah 14 and 1. And then you're gonna go to uh, Revelation 13, 9 and 10. Because a lot of our people, they like to bring in these other nations. I don't know what for, but since you like to bring in the other nations, we'll see where the other nations are gonna go. Read that. Isaiah! Chapter 14, verse 1. For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob. On the what? For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob. So the Most High said he's going to have mercy on Jacob, read. And will yet choose Israel. And will what? And will yet choose Israel. And will he yet choose Israel, read. And set them in their own and land. And set the Israelites in their own land, read. And the strangers shall be joined with them. And the what? And the strangers shall be joined with them. And the strangers, meaning these other nations, are going to be joined with us. White, Chinese, Japanese, Asians, whites, um, um, uh, uh, who? Africans. Africans. Uh, Arabs. Arabs. East Indians. Anybody that's outside of Israel, they're going to slavery, right? They're going to be with us, right? And they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. And they go, thou shall cleave to the house of Jacob. Meaning they're going to be next to us. They're going to be like this, but not actually like that. Right? And the people shall take them. And the people shall take them. And bring them to their place. Meaning that we're going to take them and bring them to their place. Right? And the house of Israel. And the house of Israel, right? Shall possess them. Shall possess them, right? And the land. The Lord for service and the land of the Lord for service and what and handmaid for service and who and handmaid so they're going to be our servants and handmaids right and they shall take them captive and they shall take them captive whose captives they were whose captives they were right and they shall rule over their oppressors and they shall rule over their oppressors who is that going to the other nations they are oppressing us so guess what we're going to rule over our oppressors. But when that time comes, not right now. Read. And it shall come to pass. And it shall come to pass, meaning it shall happen, read. In the day that the Lord shall give thee rest from thy sorrow. Therefore the Lord shall give us rest from thy sorrow. Because we need rest. Because we can't have rest right now. Because these, because our, because these other nations are ruling on top of us. And then making our life a living hell. Right? And from thy fear, and from thy hard bondage, where And from thy fear, and from thy hard bondage, right? Wherein thou was made to serve. Wherein thou was made to serve, right? That thou should take up his proverb against the king of Babylon. Read on. And say, how have the oppressed seat the golden city seat? Drop that. Go to Revelation now. Now nah, let's get yeah hold on now. let's get um are you gonna feel like give it to him what is it Revelation 13 down to 10 we're reading out the book of Revelation chapter 13 verse 9 if any man have an ear let him hear if any man have an ear let him hear right he that leadeth into captivity he that leadeth to what into captivity he that leadeth into captivity now who led us into captivity? These other nations. All these other nations led us into captivity. We now you might say, well, what does the captivity mean? We're gonna look it up now in the dictionary. This nice dictionary here. We're gonna look up the word captivity. Captivity, the state or period of being in prison, confined or enslaved. Read on. Let me read it again one more time. The state or period of being in prison, confined or enslaved. Okay, read. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, into captivity. It says, he that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. Meaning, he that leadeth into slavery shall go into slavery, right? He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. It says, he that killeth in the sword must be killed with the sword, right? Here is the patience and the faith of the saint. Meaning, you gotta be patient. Here is the patience and the faith of the saint. So don't worry about it, huh? Don't worry about it, Akim. Don't worry about it, brothers and sisters. They go into slavery, but in due time, just be patient. Just do what you gotta do. That's it. Let's go. Uh, verse 11. No, stop it. Go, uh, uh, go on my close description. Go on, one more. Yeah, we gotta say, uh, I have no, two precepts. Uh, uh, Proverbs 24 and 9. The thought of a foolish, a foolishness is sin. It's that woman did when she came out. Right. Attack. And the scorner is abomination to men. And the first of uh, Maccabees chapter 1 and verse 11, in those days when they went out of Israel, wicked men who, pers who persuade many, saying, let us go and make a covenant with them, with the heathens that are round about us. For since we depart from them, we have much sorrow. There you go, that's right. Get down. I'm going to come down. Ecclesiastes, 